Now let's talk about the call, Kyle, because you've been an offensive Before lineman. I talk about the call, this feels to me like for Dan Campbell and the Lions, like the double doink was for the Chicago Bears and Matt Nagy. Guys that we consider to be really good coaches, young coach of the year type candidates. I hope it isn't the case because I, can, I saw what happened there. But as, as it pertains to the, the game, the call, I mean, a couple of things we know. Jared Goff told Taylor Decker, and it's on video, go report. Taylor Decker... Uh, and for people at home, report means a guy who's ineligible usually, a, a number in the 70s or the 60s uh, or the 50s. Or the 50s. Walks up to the guy with the white hat, and you make a, you almost make a mockery of the, the process. It's like, reporting! You've heard it happen in practice and mm-hmm. games. But yeah. you don't have to say that. You don't it's, have to do it, it it's a mo- You have to do this You motion. have to make eye contact. It's kind of like, I am reporting. Like you have to say reporting you eye contact yourself. words, but the the white hat is not present for the car. He's on his way out. So what I saw from the ass end angle of Taylor Decker is his right elbow sticking out, <clears throat> which to me tells tells me that he did report. Mm-hmm. And I know Skipper, uh, whether he reported or not, that's here nor there. But sixty eight did report, and I know Taylor. I trust him. I liked what he said after the game, or what he didn't say after the game. But here, in this situation, you're robbing an offensive lineman from a dream play, a dream scenario. You're robbing a coach from being able to instill confidence and faith in himself with his team by going for it, having an answer, having it down pat, and they executed it. Um, And I know you have issue with going for it, but they almost had it again. They almost got him down there, the drop. I mean, it was close. Yeah, but again, when you make that decision. Somebody's lying. When you make that decision, Jared Goff's a little off with that ball. And those are the little throws that, you know, we don't talk about. But they already They're not a deep shot you overthrow or that sort of thing. You have to know who your guy is. And do you trust Jared to make that throw in a situation where it's got to be right on target? And I just wouldn't have done it. I, I would have. I loved going for it. It was a it. shame yeah. that it was put in the hands here's, of here's, here's my thing with the. I just hate about like the NFL and the referees and the call. And then for the viewers, like for we the have money this, line betters. We, no, we have this. We have this um, referee, the head of the referee, watching the game with us and chiming in and telling us that basically they got it wrong. And, and they can't the, fix it. What's the point of having the whole thing? Hey, they're going to New York to help them speed the game up, and they can get calls right. Like, why can't? When it's something that important, why can't they just figure that out? Why can't the red the phone ring and say, hey, put him back out? You got out. it wrong. Hey, put, put Dallas out there with 13 seconds to go. Like, you, you got know, it that, wrong. That, that's like, what whatever. it should be. And, and to, to Dan they Campbell. They had two-pointers to come back and say that. It wasn't like they kicked off right after. But to Kate for, for Dan Campbell just a little bit, I would say, yo, it's the end of the year. You don't want to have your guys out there for an extra quarter, an extra whatever. Like you don't There's want, that. like you know what I'm saying. You don't want someone to get hurt. And, I, got, I got no problem with doing that. I, I have go no for problem. But after after the the first one doesn't work, after you get it's the mentality. You're, you're like, hey, you're we're then going on the for floor it. because of the penalty. It's not the same as a two point yeah. conversion. Like the math does not support it. And so, you know, I I love Dan Campbell, and I love that he doesn't seem to have. He looks at every situation individually. He's not like a slave to the numbers. He's not a slave. He 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 just he he it's a feel thing and it's aggression and I love it, but sometimes he just gets himself into these problems. And I think that the way he crumpled up that paper at the press conference. <clears throat> man, I, I'd hate lectern. to be that piece of paper. And he said today that he, he wrote the play yeah. down for the referees. He wrote it down before the game on paper and said this is what would happen. And that's the worst part about it. And, and it's the and, same crew that got the call wrong in the Kansas City game. And I don't think I don't think they and the Bears it. game they didn't and call at the end of the half. This guy, the Lions are now zero and five or something when yeah, he calls. Against, when he and, calls and he's been demoted from the playoffs. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're out. They have it, like a good. minus but, 200 yards. But demoting him from the playoffs yeah, is an admission that that this went wrong. Yeah, what I know. And, and, that, and so it changes. Worse. It changes everything. It's almost worse. Like that's like like watching like as you as a fan and you're watching and you're hearing oh the head ref. Is telling us, hey, they got that wrong, and it's just like you. You're watching. You're like, yo, if he's saying that they clearly got this wrong, how is it allowed? Well, then they well, have executive power. He, I, I heard he did, but that, that could have been a it's meme. Un, it's unprecedented, yeah. and I saw one of those aggregate, aggregate tweets as well. Yeah, but like it would be something. But for Detroit, I, I feel like you got to come out of this game, <coughs> and this can't be the type of thing that wrecks your season because I've seen it before where something goes wrong like this for a team, and bury the tapes. 
Don't show it. And and watching that meltdown on the sideline, watching Skipper, and I get it. Yeah. But that's the type of thing that can just like can kill the mood because it's yeah. And you know, you, and then and then if yeah. and when then if and when you guys lose down the line, like guys are gonna be like, well, if we didn't I'm get telling you, well, if we didn't get job in that game, we would have played here. Yeah. And we so did so this. so it's a tough deal, man. 